A lot to do around here this weekend. It's uh, Labor Day weekend, <clears throat> three day weekend to get some stuff done around the homestead. However, today is an important day, a sad day, but also a celebration of a little young boy's life. So a couple weeks ago, uh, Waverly had the floods. And as you know, we went out there and we helped uh, volunteer. But one of, the, uh, one of the casualties of the flood was a two year old boy named Kellen Vaughn. And he loved motorcycles, and we saw in one of our motorcycle groups that uh, they are asking for as many motorcycles as possible to come out to the little boy's funeral today. So we are going to ride out there and uh, kind of see what the motorcycle community, how, how they respond to things like this. And we'll take you along with us for um, this um, sad but uh, celebra celebratory type event as well. Um, uh, Two-year-old, two way... Yeah. So there's really trying to find something to say. There's really just no words. A two-year-old boy swept away in a flood. Absolutely, absolutely tragic. So just keep that family in your hearts and any other family that's lost a loved one, especially a young toddler like this in such a tragic way. So we're going to go out and check it out. Um, come, come along with us.
outside just waiting for the uh, processional to start. We're on a side street here. Not too many bites right here, but the next street up, which goes over to the funeral home, it's completely packed with bikes and it's shut down. From what we're hearing from people wrapped all the way around the funeral home with a couple of parking lots full of motorcycles. So uh, I have no idea how many here. Somebody's estimating over a thousand. Uh, it did uh, get played on the Nashville news. So uh, the motorcycle community uh, usually never disappoints whenever they post it on social media or post it on the news for people to come out and ride and funerals or benefits and things like that, especially for a young little guy like Kellen, two years old, love motorcycles. And, uh, we're gonna uh, get going here whenever they start the procession or just join right up here at this road. So you hopefully get to see how many, or not how many, but a lot of the motorcycles that are gonna be going by as part of the uh, part of the funeral procession. Well, I know how that is. Sometimes. Starting to fire them up, movement. So it looks like. Uh,
I made it over to the funeral home. The funeral's right behind me. Uh, it's taking so long to get here, I'm not sure if they went and they started because the bikes are still rolling. They, they, bikes were going by in front of us for a good 10, 15 minutes before we got to go. Uh, this is behind us, so lots of bikes behind us as well. I have no idea how many. Uh, I heard they were expecting over a thousand. Somebody else said over two thousand. There's a lot of bikes. wrapped up the service here and we're waiting for Lisa and Donahue I think we're gonna go have some dinner just gonna uh, ask everyone to say a prayer for not only this family but all those who have been lost the Waverly floods uh, within weeks of the Waverly flood you also had the Hurricane Ida and then also the flooding in New York City and I happened to be in New York City when that happened uh, so it was uh, a bad couple weeks here for water fatalities. Uh, so just uh, lift up all those people that lost someone in, in those fatalities.